Master the art of eye contact. Balancing gaze without staring. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on English greetings and introductions. In today's video, we will focus on an essential part of communication, maintaining eye contact during introductions. But more importantly, we will learn about balancing eye contact and avoiding staring. Remember, eye contact plays a crucial role in communication, and getting it right is key to effective interaction. Eye contact is more than just a polite gesture. It shows that you're engaged, attentive, and respect the person you're speaking with. Balancing eye contact means maintaining this connection without turning it into an uncomfortable stare. Balancing eye contact can be tricky. However, with a few guidelines, it can be achieved. Here are a few tips. 1. Keep it natural. Eye contact should feel natural, not forced. Don't try to hold eye contact every second. It's okay to look away occasionally. 2. Use the 50 70th rule. When you're listening, aim for 70% eye contact. When speaking, aim for about 50%. This can prevent the interaction from feeling too intense. 3. Be mindful of cultural differences. In some cultures, prolonged eye contact may be seen as aggressive or inappropriate, so be aware of these cultural norms. Now, let's talk about how to avoid staring. Staring can be off-putting and may make the other person uncomfortable. 1. Take breaks. Don't be afraid to blink or look away from time to time. This break in eye contact can make the conversation feel more relaxed. 2. Use natural movements. Feel free to look at your surroundings or gesture with your hands as you speak. These movements can give your eyes a break and make the conversation feel more organic. 3. Respect personal space. Try to maintain a comfortable distance between you and the other person. Invading personal space can intensify the feeling of staring. Mastering the balance of maintaining eye contact and avoiding staring is an important skill, not just for introductions, but for all your interpersonal communications. Practice these tips we discussed today, and over time, you will be more comfortable in your interactions. Remember, it's about creating a connection and respect with the person you're speaking to. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Happy learning!